seen you comment and the Lord wants to to speak to you now. He wants to share with you that He is with you, He is for you. He has seen the cries of your heart, sister. He has seen every single, every single tear that you ever shed and He's caught them in His bottle. Even when you don't feel it, He's working. Even when you don't see it, He's working. Father, I just pray now in the name of Jesus for my sister, Gail, your beloved daughter, Gail. Father, I ask in the name of Jesus, under the sound of my voice, that you pour out your Holy Spirit upon Gail now, Father. May she be filled with your Holy Spirit. Father, may she be experiencing something beautiful, tingling feelings inside her as she is feeling your presence through your Holy Spirit, unlike she has ever experienced before. I ask this in the name of Jesus, for it is written in Matthew 21, 22, you can pray for anything, and if you have faith, you will receive it. I give you all the glory, praise and honour. Thank you, Father, for making, for forming and creating Gail in her mother's womb. Gail, I declare and decree you are fearful and wonderful made in his image. You can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. God is for you, not against you. His hand is mighty upon you. He has anointed your head with oil. You are so precious in our Father's eyes, Gail. You are so precious. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. Praise and honour to God. For I know the plans I have for you, my daughter, my beloved daughter Gail. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. And I work in all things for good. Because you love me and because you live according to my purpose to them. You have been through the refiner's fire. But I have been in there with you, says the Lord. Like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. You have not been burnt up because I am for you, not against you. I am the mighty warrior that saves. I have lifted you out to the miry clay and put your feet on me, the rock of God, the rock of all ages. You are coming into a place of victory. I'm pouring into you now my spirit. I'm going to be answering your prayers. Breakthrough is coming. There are going to be sudden changes and transformations. Your prayers are going to start being answered as a tsunami of my love, of my grace, of my peace, of my miracle working powers comes into your life. My beloved Gail says, I, the Lord of heaven's armies, have no fear because my perfect love expels all fear. Says I, the Lord of heaven's eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's talk about praising through our circumstance right now. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Amen. So even if we don't see him working, we know he's working because that's what his word says. Even when we don't feel him working, we know he's working because that's what his word says. So tonight, that's how we're praising him. No matter what you came in here with tonight, no matter what your situation is, you just keep praising because God's working. He's doing something and you can't even see it right now. But he's true to his promises and we can trust his word. Yeah. 
Thank you.